OK, so one of the most important things about your machine maintaining it is cleaning it. Two minutes at the end of every session, this thing's going to last you for years. So uh, a little bit of manual work, and I'm going to show you best practice. You'll just need your blanking disc, which is a solid plate, comes with the machine, uh, a group head brush, nylon brush, some cleaning powder, and a rag. So what we're going to do is insert the disc into possibly the single porter filter that comes with the basket. You can keep it there if you like. You can see the buildup of coffee here from the last shot that we did. So we're just going to run some water through, give that a clean, and around the edge, the inner edge where the seal is, take your rag and then just run that around the inside. And you can see there's a bit of buildup of coffee there where we've just made a shot. If you've just made yourself one or two coffees, and bear in mind you're, you've, you've got your cleaning cycle mode as well, all I would do is put the blanking disc in, lift the lever for, say, six or seven seconds. And then you can see that just slightly brown, because we've only made one or two shots on this. And just do that twice. And turn the machine off or leave it on your eco mode. And you are finished. That's all you need to do. But what is really good practice is if you've made uh, your um, coffees and you've done multiple coffees with your cleaning mode, remember, we've set it to 50 shots. All you need to do is take your cleaning powder, put that much in, tip of your finger, and then run it through for about eight seconds. You'll see the powder starting to work there. But we're going to keep the solution in the blanking disc. And again, just lift the lever, lift the brew lever, run it for about eight seconds, and stop. And you can see the solution starting to brown slightly. So it's back flushing the coffee oils out of the inside of the shower screen. We're going to do that about four times. And then throw the solution away. And then we're just going to back flush another four or five times so that the water is clear. When, when it's free of any coffee or any solution, we're basically good to knock the machine off and start again. Okay. Now, you're probably wondering why we've got such a big tub of cleaner. And that is because these porter filters do get coffee oil buildup. And coffee is a pretty messy business. So, what we suggest is put your porter filter in a, a little bowl of boiling water, two good scoops of cleaning powder and just leave that for a few hours or preferably overnight and do this every week or so. It's really good practice. The baskets are stainless steel. You can just wash them out in the sink and then after you've taken this out of the solution, just wash it in the sink and you're good to go.